I sent an email to the city council regarding housing for families. This is what I witnessed today. Coming back from the farmer's market at the National Guard Armory, I saw some kids moving all their belongings in carts on a hot summer's day. I spoke to one of the older kids and asked, how long have you been out here? He said, three years. For three years, these kids haven't had a place to live, no stable place to stay, and have experienced harassment from law enforcement and a feeling of being unwanted and threatened wherever they go. This unhoused family got another vacate notice today, two of them, right on their child's birthday. Instead of relaxing and celebrating this child's birthday, this family was being forced to move yet again to a place they may get kicked out of within the day. Imagine having to move all your family's belongings every single day. You can't take too much with you, no photo albums, no keepsakes, no treasured possessions, other than what you can carry on your back or in your cart, if your cart doesn't break down or if it gets stolen. You must do this every single day for three years. It's beyond exhausting, it's cruel. I was the only one to stop and help. No one else bothered. No one else thought it was strange that families are forced to be unhoused and harassed. It's hard to rest when you're on the move every single day. You can't rest, you can't have time to think or plan or apply for resources, what little there is if you can qualify for it. The few options offered aren't accessible or ADA compliant, or they're too far away from town to go on foot. Any housing you apply to says your kids aren't allowed, or that they must be separated because of their ages. Police are constantly harassing you, telling you to move on, but there's nowhere to move to. Average rent here is $1,200 to $1,800, and many people, including myself, even with employment and income, will never qualify for that amount. It's a broken and cruel system that treats families this way. Nobody chooses to live this way constantly on pinch, every single day and every single night. There is no safety. You may have income, but it's not enough. You may get food stamps, but you can't keep milk, cheese, meat, or other essential items cold for long. Given the limited space you have, and you're constantly on the move every single day. Families don't deserve this. You're traumatizing these families, these kids, and you're sending a message to the community that says, we don't consider you human if you don't make over $4,000 a month. You will be treated like garbage. We don't care if you're tired because we'll do whatever it takes to get you out of our city, our town, our neighborhood that you grew up in because it doesn't matter because you don't make enough money. So get out. You are telling this whole community that they are not safe unless they got enough money to be considered citizens. They're sending a message to everyone that says, this is not a safe place to live. Thank you.